Hi guys, my name is Michelle. I'm a tutor for Czech tutors and I usually tutor in English, math, and psychology. And today we're going to be talking about Piaget and cognitive development. So Piaget was a uh, clinical psychologist known for his work in child development. And he theorized that intelligence is a process that helps an organism adapt to its environment. And he stated that children are not born with an innate idea about reality, and they're not filled with information by adults. So Piaget was a constructivist, and he uh, truly believed that children construct their own understandings of the world based on their own experiences. He viewed children as these curious and active explorers that watch um, what occurs around them and experiment on the objects that they encounter. And so Piaget discussed four major periods of cognitive development, the sensory motor stage, the pre-operational stage, the concrete operational stage, and the formal operational operation stage. And so in the sensory motor stage, um, this takes place between birth and age two. The child deals with the world directly through his or her perceptions and actions, and they're unable to use symbols to help solve problems mentally yet, and they acquire tools for solving problems through their sensory and motor experiences. Next, from ages 2 to 7, we have the pre-operational stage. The children develop the capacity for symbolic thought, but they're not yet capable of logical so problem solving. So they can use words as symbols to talk about a problem and can mentally imagine doing something, but they fail to demonstrate conversation. They're also um, known to be egocentric thinkers and are easily fooled by appearances. So moving on to um, ages 7 to 11, the concrete operation stage describes um, children that are more logical than preschoolers. They use trial and error approach to help um, solve their problems. They do well on problems that involve thinking about concrete objects and can mentally categorize or mentally add or subtract objects, but they still have difficulty with abstract and hypothetical problem problems. And so the last stage, the formal operation stage, is from ages 11 to 12 or older. Um, and this is where children are able to think abstractly and hypothetically. They can define justice abstractly and they can formulate hypotheses or predictions in their heads and plan how to systematically test their ideas, experiment with them, um, as well as imagine the results of those experiments. And so there's a few strengths and weaknesses that um, come with this constructivist theory. So um, some strengths. So most developmentalists actually uh, um, accept Piaget's beliefs, and they, uh, the ideas have been tested, and they've been uh, very largely supported. And Piaget's research has also influenced a lot of um, our education today and um, child rearing. So some weaknesses, though, um, on the other hand, the stages are a little questionable. Um, it puts too little emphasis on the social and cultural influences on the child, and the theory kind of underestimates um, development of young children. And so that's a bit about Piaget and his cognitive development theories. Um, thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day.